Wingy Boxing, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Hadouken! Wait, Hadouken! <laughs> hey, don't, don't get me started. Don't get me started, don't man. Me started. People, people aren't going to like the in jokes. So, <laughs> I'm here with Leon Woodstock, who's fighting on the undercard Selby yeah, v Warrington. Leon, how you feeling, man? I'm good, man. I'm good, I'm good. Like I said on the uh, press conference, been out for a little bit, had a few issues with my back and that, so. But everything's all good now. I'm back. Nice, keep warm fight, and then hopefully, fingers crossed, get back out June time. So yeah, man, ready, ready to start being a star again. <laughs> yeah, because I said to you at the press conference um, when they had it, like I can sense it in you that one with your fight style, with with your charisma, you're, you're, you're being polite sitting there, but you want yeah, you, you want that big big stage. That, that's hungry. yours, isn't it? You? I'm hungry. I want. That's what I want. I want to be under the lights, I want to hear people chanting my name, I want, I want, I want all of it, do you know what I mean, I want all of that, I want all of that, because I love, I love being respected and loved for what I do, do you know what I'm saying, so if I can keep bringing that to the table, what the people love, then I'm a happy man. <laughs> How's sparring been going for the, for the fight, good and that? Very good man, very good, it's I've been, been sparring, hard, isn't it? Kids, I've seen you like, yeah. Myron, been really digging it in there, just getting that sparring in, but yeah man, it's been good, I've been enjoying it. It's been fun, fun. Tell me about the kid Galahad uh, sparred, because Galahad's talented. I'm a big yeah, fan man, of I've, his, man. I've, we've sparred, like I said, 14, 15 times, like, a lot of times, you know what I mean? Like, not just this for this, like, um, fight, but like, I mean, over the times I've been there, like, back and forth, back and forth. I think there was one period for, like, one month, no, sorry, two, like, two weeks, like, I went there to spar, came back for, like, a day or two, went back to spar again, came back for, like, a day or two, went back to spar again, and like, that went on for, like, a whole, like, two weeks, you know what I mean? Like, like it's really good sparring, like, I really enjoy it, and it's very, like, it's very 50-50. So that's why we keep going there, because it's, like, once, like, one time I'll go and spar, I'll get the better of him, then he'll get the better of me, then I'll get the better of him, then it's quite, nah, do you know what I mean? See, so. that's what it tells me, because already then, when you said we've had about 14, 15, that means it's competitive, and that's yeah, kid Galahad. Yeah, it's very he's, competitive. He's, he's yeah, still yeah, seen, I, Obviously, I've seen you and Hudge shot behind the scenes. You yeah, guys yeah, give me yeah. your time. You know I know what what's there. About. I know what you're about. <laughs> That's why I want to see you get on these big fights. Yeah. How do you feel when you're given this type of opponent? Do you sort of think, oh, I can't really get up for it? Or do you think, I'm going to respect them regardless? No. Oh, listen, every day, I'm, I know that anyone that I get in the ring with, like, is capable of putting me away or putting someone away. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to be all egotistical. Like, you get a lot of these fighters, like, oh, I'll never this, I'll never lose, this, that, and that. I 100% know it could it could happen and it probably will happen and if it does so be it I'll come back from it and learn from it because everything in life is a learning curve and how I how I see everything in life is like if I'm not moving forward every single day and I mean that like literally like every single day I want to be literally moving forward even if it's one step I've got to be progressing towards being the best Leon Woods that I can be and if I'm staying still for like I said more than a day I'm uncomfortable you know what I'm saying so I, ne I need to always be moving forward so I don't mind even if I got a loss or I got dropped or this, that and the other, and I know that it can happen, you know what I'm saying? And I think that's what, that's where my strength lies. I, I, I don't lie to myself. I'm not under some hype or some bravado. I just know it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? So I know that he could be dangerous. He could, if I could be careless, step back my hands down, boom, get caught, and I'm like, and that's what, it, yeah. well, what am I on the floor for? Do you know what I mean? So, and it can happen any time. So I know that whoever I'm getting in the ring with, is going to be a threat. Anyone's a threat that you get in the ring with. Anyone with two fists is going to be a threat. It's you know quite I mean? honest to see a fighter say that. You don't often hear them nah. face the, the, the prospect that they could possibly lose. But Yeah, of course. It can, this is what yeah. I mean. I think a lot of fighters are very, like, in this magical world where they think nothing bad can happen. And, and that's when bad things happen. You know what I mean? If you're prepared for it, you're ready for it. And then when it does happen, or if it does, or whatever, you're like, well, oh, kind of thought this, would, this could happen. It ain't a surprise. Mm. Let's carry on and show that like, it's your Rocky moment then, do you know what I See, mean? See, you might not like me for this, but I think you're lulling people into false sense of security because I've seen you and Hudge, how you fight, <laughs> and I know what's there, and you're like, well, I might lose, you never know, when <laughs> I like, know, I've like, seen you, I've seen lose. you, like, you, I've you seen, know what I mean. I've it seen you happen. and Hudge, and it's, it's, it's yeah, vicious, man. I'm not just saying that, it's vicious. Yeah, of course, of course, because we're, we're, we're vicious fighters, do you know what I mean? We like, Hudge trains alongside me. Go on, Hudge, brother, do you want to get in? Hey. Yeah, get in, man, get in. He trains alongside me, do you know what I mean? Like. Me and him have done plenty of rounds back in the day. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, he's taught me everything that I need. So, and it's, it's, it's very savage. But the way, his, his style is savagery. You know what I mean? Still keeping up with him, Hodge, isn't it? Uh, 
yeah, I might say the age back. Yeah, I tell you, it's, it's more mature yeah, age. Yeah, it's getting harder. It's getting harder. Yeah. <laughs> it is, it is, so he says that. Is. He still lands left up to me. <laughs> yeah, because I've seen the Facebook pictures of you two and um, sort of in the field tonight. It's always hard grafting, isn't yeah, it? It's, it's like brutal. it's almost like it's, it's, it's a lot, isn't it? Almost every sort of other day, I'm looking. I'm like, yeah. right, again, damn, damn. Yeah. The guys, uh, what's it like training Leon for this fight? Is he is he focused on? It? He's not looking too far ahead, no. No, 100. We we don't do that. We do, we take every fight as it comes, uh, so this is important on Saturday that Leon goes out there and looks good. Uh, that's important, he's in with a tough guy, and if you look at the guy's record, you know, people are always quick to sort of say, well, hey, hey, this is an easy fight, but if you look at the guy's record, he's been in with a lot of good guys, uh, 19 and 0, Jack Cattrall fought him and he's 19 and 0. Um, so he's a tough guy and he'll come and he swings away, and um, I'd seen Joe Ham was saying the other day that I was put landing punches on these guys and just laughing and coming out and swinging, so I think it's going to be quite an exciting fight, because, uh, I'm looking for Leon to establish himself now and, and yeah. really start to push forward next year. Awesome. And can I get both you guys' opinion on the main fight? Um, I know I spoke to you a couple of weeks ago about it. Uh, wh wh where are you leaning for Selby Warrington, um, Hutch? Do you know what? I don't want to sit on the fence. Right? But, um, you can if you want to. I don't, re <laughs> I don't really want to. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I, 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 would, I would say um, I would edge to Selby. But saying that, and just had Leon saying that anything can happen, it's, it's, it really is a close competitive fight. And I think um, if Selby turns up anything less than 100%, you know, uh, as my friend uh, Nick was saying, uh, Nick Manners, he was saying, any, if Selby turns up anything less than 100%, um, I think he might be in trouble. Yeah. As, as I say, down in Luton, man might get bruck up. If you like that, innit? Man might get wooed too. Yeah, yeah, here, we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah, what's your what's your thoughts? Is it Selby as well? I've been, you know, I've been a big Selby fan for a while. Like I was talking to him not long ago as well, like on Twitter and like, in. Like, Remember like, we're, we're in Leeds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've got to be honest. I can't, I can't, I can't lie. I can't lie. I honestly think Selby will take it. Like, I just think he's he's mentally going to be on it, and having the whole of the Leeds crowd against him, I think it's going to work for him. In my opinion, his mentality, the way he thinks, the way he fights. I just think he, this is all him. Do you know what I'm saying? But like, get, anything happened in boxing. Do you know what I mean? I was anything just about to say that. Yeah, man. it's not. What, what Even a, Mike Tyson got knocked what, out when he was know, meant to be invincible. You know what, 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 what a great fight, uh, Frank put on. What a great fight. What a great uh, occasion. Uh, lead Stadium. It's so be good. this is brilliant yeah, for us because the world, the world's eyes are going to be on uh, this show. So. As I said, my, really my main focus is, is Leon Woodstock and to show everyone, especially over the next 12 months, we are looking to take out some names. I'm not going to say too much yet, but we're, we're looking to move. We're looking to, we're, start we're start to look at, as, as Leon said there, put a tournament together, stick us all in it. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, why, not? Yeah. why not? Yeah. Why not? Well, you know, that, that's the way we've always thought. And if you look at Leon from the amateurs, that was Leon. Find me the best guy. I'll take him out. Yeah. Well, I like the mentality. It's uh, it's kind of like a hood mentality. I've got the hood mentality. If you see me looking over, it's because I've got my laptop down there and I'm still back in my Luton days. That's something I might do for my laptop. But yeah. no, it's all good. Um, Leon Woodstock, Hudge. I don't even know if it's hood, you know. It's just real. It really is. It's just real and honest. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Thank you both for giving me your time. Thank you for speaking you. to Wingy Foxy and IFL TV. Always got time for you, my friend. Enough respect. Yeah, man. All right. <laughs>